Hello and welcome to Kids Create. I'm Lauren and today I want to show you the best DIY craft to make your mom for Christmas. So this craft doesn't only have to be for Christmas, it can be for Mother's Day or a forgotten birthday. I know that I don't have a lot of money to spend on my parents for Christmas, so I found the perfect gift, $5. Let's get started. All right, so what you will be needing for these cute earrings is a hot glue gun. So I'm gonna use a hot glue gun and the thing that I'm gonna be using in the hot glue gun, you can use whatever kind of hot glue stick you have, but I do recommend you using some like literally hot glue sticks. You can pick these up at the dollar store for like $1 for 15 of them. These will just make your process easier so you don't need to paint it. But if you don't have those or you want a different color, you can also just use some paint. Um, this is just normal yellow paint. This is my mom's favorite color. A bowl for your paint and a paintbrush. I'm gonna use a pretty small one. You will also need some jewelry pliers. These are just mini pliers from Bee Landing. I got these at Michael's. Some jump rings. Um, so you need two jump rings because you use one for each earring and same goes for the them dangly earring tops. If you can see, um, these, as I said, these, these jump rings and, um, these tops for the earrings, each are needle free. Um, I got these at really any craft store. You can get them. I got them at Michael's and I will leave a link in the description for them. So uh, let's get started. All right, so I just put my jump ring on my um, earring. I'm just gonna do one as an example and then do the other one off camera. But here I will be using clear glue because that's probably what you guys have at home. And I need, so once that's down, as you can see it's down, I want to only get the bottom of it, but I still need my jump ring on. And I am not actually gonna put it on directly. I'm just gonna be making a circle little cute earring. You can make whatever shape you want. You just wanna pour it on. And as you can see, there are some sides that have a little string on them. You can always take that off once it's dry. And I'm actually gonna put this on the side, whatever that I want. And I am just going to drop the jump ring in that hot glue. Now I'm going to wait for that to dry. And I will be back on once it does dry. Now if just remember you really want to make sure that this stays where it is. This one is almost dry, if I can show you correctly. Um, they're each on the parchment paper now. You don't have to put anything a certain way. I just like putting um, each of these, as you can see there. And um, I'm just waiting for them to dry. Um, these do come off of parchment paper. I have tried it in the past. As you can see, this one is dry. And this one is done. I want to be very careful because I want to make sure it's 100% dry. But once it is, as you can see here, mine is totally dry. This is pretty cute and it looks like it's a handmade child's gift. This is so a little adorable. So... The bottom does shape, which I like. It looks like a normal earring. Now, you can put this on your ear. But, um, They look amazing. So, by the way, you can put a backing on this earring. Most of these um, actually come with backings. My second one is actually almost dry. And then we'll move on to the next step of this project. Alright, so my second one is dry. Um, They peel off pa of portrait paper really well. As you can see, they're not perfect, but what more could a mom want than a handmade gift from their daughter or son? So as you can see, each of these have dried completely and they are perfect. 
Now I am just gonna real quick paint them. So basically I'm pretty sure all of you know how paint works. You shake up the paint, put it in your jar, and paint your earrings. Now what I would recommend is um of these earrings. Let's do it. Alright, so as you can see, I've painted the back. I'm going to paint both of the back of the earrings because I do not want to rush it or do anything bad. So as you can see from the back camera, but if you turn it over, it actually looks just like a light yellow. So I might just keep it on the back. You can choose to do whatever you wish. I like how it's just on the back. Now, if you're going to be wearing these all day, you might um, want to choose to put some Mod Podge on top just as a sealer for these. I'm not going to do that, but you can. Remember, Mod Podge is like a girl's best friend when it comes to really anything. But um, I'm going to make a couple more of the earrings because it's so fun, and I'm going to show you the finished project. Let's get to it. Another pair of earrings. These are so adorable. I don't think I did them perfectly, but these are just little sunrises. Um, I just thought they were so cute to make. Thank you so much for watching. This was super fun to make. I actually made two different um earrings, and I just wanted to show you something real quick. So I made this little box. Yeah, I'll show it to you on the camera. So it doesn't look like much, but it opens up. And I thought the perfect way to give these to my mom was to put them in this little box and she will have a nice surprise on Christmas. So you can see that in there. This is gonna be so much fun. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like this video if you enjoyed. See you guys next week.